Sup guys and welcome back to Cloud of Imagination. So for this week's video I thought I would jump in a similar vein to my hat collection video but instead I'm going to show you the fandomy kind of shirts that I have. Not absolutely everything is included here, I have got some like pyjama tops and stuff but I thought that I would just include these for this week's video, I may do like an updated collection later on. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at my fandom t-shirts. First up I have my, probably one of the only fandomy jumpers that I have and it is my R2D2 jumper and it's a lovely jumper I mainly wear it in the winter because it's, it's really cosy my only worry is is because it's white it could easily stain but it's just got the basic kind of like bot design of R2D2 on next up I've got a few concert t-shirts and this is my Green Day one when I went to go see them for their Revolution Radio tour and on the front you've just got the design for their album and then on the back you've got all their tour dates next up I have my Imagine Dragons t-shirt from their Smoke and Mirrors tour this is first time I went and saw Imagine Dragons it was I think it's an 18th birthday present but again you've got the design for their album on the front on the back you've got all the locations that, for their tour my next t-shirt is a bit more recent and you may have seen it in my birthday haul which is another Imagine Dragons one and this one's for their Revolve tour so you've got like a little logo on the front there with Imagine Dragons and then on the back you've got all their tour dates and all the locations that they went to and I really liked this one because it was, it's just got like a nice rainbow gradient across the, the dates on the back and I think that looks really nice. That is the last of my band t-shirts. Next up is this Harry Potter t-shirt. It's pretty simple, it's just red and then it's got the lovely Hogwarts logo on the front. It's short sleeved and the design of it is quite ideal for like summer so I have a feeling I'll be cracking this one out soon. In a very similar style to my Harry Potter t-shirt I have this Jurassic World t-shirt and it's also a short sleeve and the style of it is quite like a, a summery kind of t-shirt but it's just got the simplistic Jurassic World logo on the front and then it's got kind of like this faded blue design and it's really nice and it's ideal for the summer because it's quite light. Next up I've got something else that's also Star Wars themed. I got this at a Comic Con and it's actually a tea turtle design. Forgive me because it's a little creased from being in my wardrobe but it's this lovely Ray and BB-8 t-shirt. I tend to wear this shirt a hell of a lot and you might have seen me wearing it in one of my videos but yeah that's my only tea turtle t-shirt and I think that is the last of my Star Wars stuff. And next up we've got a couple of of Game of Thrones t-shirts. The first one is this simplistic black t-shirt that's just got written on it Mother of Dragons. I do wear this t-shirt quite a lot because it fits me quite nice and it's really comfy. My other Game of Thrones t-shirt is a bit lighter. It's kind of like this pink colour and on the front I don't know how well you can see but it's got a very shiny kind of motif and you've got Game of Thrones written at the top and then underneath you have all the houses. Actually I don't think all of them are on there but I think it's just the main ones. I love the way the light catches off, giving it kind of a coppery feel and the logos and lettering. But yeah, that's my other Game of Thrones t-shirt and my last Game of Thrones t-shirt. Next up, I've got a couple of Zelda t-shirts. And the first one is my Zelda Wind Waker t-shirt. But it's just got Toon Link on the front all ready for battle and it's a really nice simple t-shirt. Uh, next up is another t-shirt which I do believe may have come with the Twilight Princess HD. So I've got this very simple black t-shirt shirt which has got Twilight Princess link on the front. It's lovely, you just got this very black and white link which stands out really nicely against the gold backdrop but that is the last of my Zelda t-shirts. I think before I delve into like my biggest collection of t-shirts which I'll tell you what that is in a minute I've got this one last kind of standalone t-shirt. I do want to get some more t-shirts but it is a Wonder Woman t-shirt and it is a Batman v Superman one but it's just focused with Wonder Woman and then you've got some of Batman v Superman in the background and I really love the design of this because it's kind of simplistic kind of comic book style and you've kind of got the black which accents really well with the red. I'm gonna jump into my biggest collection of t-shirts. There's a few other ones at the end where I've got some Star Trek ones and some Walking Dead, but my biggest collection of t-shirts is my Marvel t-shirts. So first up, I've had this t-shirt I think since the first Avengers came out. I think I bought it just afterwards. It is my Captain America t-shirt and this one is just very simple. It's a lovely navy blue design and you've just got a nice distress shield on the front. Next up is another t-shirt that I 
I think I've had for quite a while and it's very simplistic as well it's just a simple black t-shirt and it's got Stark Industries written on the front uh, next up I think this one was also another gifted one but it's just a simple grey t-shirt and it's got a lot of the Marvel characters going around just repeated over and over well I say a lot of them I think the main focus is just Thor, Cat, Spidey, Hulk and Iron Man it tends to be the way with a lot of Marvel t-shirts even though I'd like would prefer maybe some other characters on there as well another Marvel one and it's my three quarter sleeve Marvel one I think it's similar to kind of like the baseball shirts or something like that but you've got this very distressed Marvel and then you've got Hulk, Thor, Iron Man and Cap and, the and Spidey next up is another shirt which it's got a similar design to my other ones. They don't seem to vary up the designs very much. I do believe this one was another gift and it's just a simple grey shirt. It's just got Marvel written on the bottom and then you've got, again, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Iron Man and Spider-Man. So next up is my most recent addition to my Marvel shirts. And I do know you guys have already seen this because you saw it in my March Comic Con haul. And it is my Punisher shirt, which is just very simplistic. It's black and it's got the Punisher logo around the front. Next up is just another odd shirt that I've got in here. I did have one for the first film, but I think I got rid of it because it ended up getting a hole in it. I arguably have a t-shirt for my favorite one in the series anyway, which is my Catch Hunger Games Catch and Fire t-shirt. And I really like this one because Catch and Fire was my favorite book and it was my favorite film. So I, I had to get this because it's got my three favorite characters from the Hunger Games series on. You've got Katniss, you've got Peter, and you've got Finnick. Next up, I have a Star Trek red shirt. The only problem I have with this t-shirt is a little bit too small so I may potentially convert this into a bed shirt. Next up is a shirt that I ordered off Amazon a while ago and it is my Star Trek Into Darkness Kirk shirt and I had to have this. I've, it's got Chris Pine on okay. Okay so we're getting towards the end. I have only got two t-shirts left. Both of them are both from the same fandom. So first of all, we have my Walking Dead t-shirt. I really love the design of this. I remember ordering it offline because it takes it from that quote from, I think it's the end of season four where the guy's calling out like nicknames to them. So of course you've got Rick at the top, the ringleader. And then you've got Daryl, which is the archer. You've got Michonne, the samurai, and at the bottom you've got Carl, the kid. And it's a really, really lovely design. I love the use of color on this and it's probably one of my favorite t-shirts it's really really nice and last up this was another shirt that was also a gift and it is my dixon's chopper t-shirt so it's our t-shirt but it's a really nice design these bits of the lettering and stuff are actually kind of stitched out so they're actually kind of almost 3d in a sense and then you've got the wings in the background you've got his crossbow and it just kind of looks like a motorcycle shirt so yeah guys, that is pretty much most of my fandom t-shirts. Knowing me, this collection is definitely going to grow anyway. I really want to get some more like house pride stuff, so I want to get some more Slytherin stuff. So in case you guys didn't know, I am a Slytherin. I have got like some jackets and pyjamas stuff that I have missed out here. But I thought I'd include the majority in and I thought this would be a nice little fun video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's video guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you next week. Bye!